Okay, Google. Let me punch a man in the face. So how do we make these bakeable goodies? Well, let me let me tell you about it. So first of all, separate eggs, which you've done. Whisk egg whites with salt. We didn't get salt out. <sighs> welcome to the Great Pomegranate Bake Off. This is Sue. And this is Mel. And welcome to some baking. So, first of all, on our to-do list for the pomegranate jewel cake is whisk egg whites with salt. However, I don't see the point in all of this jazz. So Alice. Or what do you call Mel? Mel. <laughs> Mel here has got her egg whites separated. I'm just going to go straight for it and put all of my eggs in one basket. There's like a proverb that says don't do that, isn't there? Don't put all your eggs in one yeah, basket. Here's sure. some salt. It's going in the egg whites. Um, I also have no capacity to whisk eggs because I'm really lazy. So I have an electric whisk. So I'm going to do one of those blue heater moments. It's like, this is now, but here's what I made earlier. And as if by magic, here's one I made earlier. Whoa. Whisked white eggs. Halfway to making meringues, which are the best things in the world. Did you see that? That, that was amazing. beautiful. Step aside now, Jenna Lawson. Gosh. <laughs> Extreme scrambled eggs. What have you done? Uh, um, so the next thing we need to do is whisk 100 grams of sugar into our egg whites. So how, what does your smell like? What do you mean? Just smell the difference. Yours smells like meringue. Mine smells because mine is meringue. Mine's egg whites and sugar. Not bad. Um. So now we've added the sugar. What's next on our recipe to do? Let me tell you, Mel. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. You're welcome. So it says, uh, leave. Boom. That's what I've written next. So leave. And then it Left. says, two hundred sugars to zest and yolks. We just mix it together? Yeah. So I'm just going to put some of my eggs into my bowl. Like so. Oh, it smells good. Mate, mine doesn't smell good. Well, I've been scared to try it all, to be honest. Mine smells like chickens. It smells like chickens that have been eating Christmas things. So if I remember rightly, when you mix egg, egg yolks with sugar, they have to go like almost clear, like what? really light colour. Egg yolks? Yeah. When mixed with sugar, they have to go really light. Mine have got like bright, this is an incredible yellow, I can't really see it. I feel like this is like the technical challenge in the Bake Off, where yeah. they're like given instructions, but they have no idea what it's supposed to look like. Yeah! And then, yeah. I have no idea, like, to what extent do I whisk this? Like, it's creamy white, but... You're <laughs> Yours is yellow. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Let me tell you, Mel. Thanks, Sue. Add flour. To which bit? Oh, to this mix. <laughs> and it's a bit at a time, not all of it. Oh, so I've got, like, in my little bowl, a little bit of egg. In my big bowl, so I've got two bowls of basically the same thing. Egg and sugar, egg and sugar. That's salt you put in that one. Oh, no, you put There's sugar in that one. There's sugar in there as well. And the zest in this one, but not in this. I'm just going to mix them all together. I'm just going to... What you want to do with this flour is apparently put it a little bit at a time into your mixture. Now, if you're following Did Connie's... Did you Google this? No, it was on the recipe, when we read the recipe. Oh, I didn't listen. <laughs> so if you're following Connie's recipe, just do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> if you're following my recipe, do a little bit at a time. And you kind of just want to put in... Like, you're supposed to sip it as well, but ain't nobody get time for that. Just while we wait. So, I'm done now. I just need to sit and look pretty while you do your thing. Okay, so I'm putting my biscuit mix into the wok. Literal biscuit mix. Um, bowl out. Done. Put that over there. And now I need to add my egg whites. You wok, mate. <laughs> there, I've made my mix. Oh, you made your mix. What we need to do is we need to preheat the oven, but because it's so loud, we're going to do it and then we're going to skip to preheated oven. Bring it in. So this is our before shot. And this is our after shot. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> so, you've got your pomegranate like this, so I cut it in half, and then I put little incisions at the top, and then all I'm going to do 
is pop it inside out. I'm going to pop it inside out. There we go. That was almost impressive. And now we wait. I need my fingerprints. Okay. So we've just taken them out of the oven. Um, my muffin cupcakes are looking a little bit holy. And mine is looking great. I'll, I'll pom juice first. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And then I'll use whatever's left. Use whatever's left. We made cakes! <laughs> Woo! I love pomming out. So, the last bit that we actually have to do to our cakes is to sprinkle them with these pomegranate jewels. Dick. I don't think you can. So, so if you've made the tray bake, if you've gone for the sensible option, you can just poke it in. Oh my gosh, it's actually worked. <laughs> Um, most of my pomegranates are on the table. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna cut a piece for you and a piece for me. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. Do I think we should good. just go halves on the cupcake. Yeah. So you know the sponges, the yellow sponges that you wash up with. Yeah. There you go. That's what it's like. I mean, there's quite a difference in texture. So mine was dense. That one soft. You want soft? Squishy. Mine was more moist. This smells different as well. Yeah, mine smell eggy. I've been saying this the whole way through, but like, guys, oh, do my eggs smell okay? Can we try yours first? Yeah, let's do okay. This is a dangerous one. I mean, it's alright. It's edible. It's a bit dense. Thank what, you. What do you say? That's the second best cake I've ever made in my life. Oh, good job. I'm gonna go for an eight. Okay, so we'll compromise seven point five. No, this gluten free conundrum. Oh my god! I mean, that's incredible. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good at this. That was awesome. What would you rate this? Like a like a solid twelve. Yeah, yeah one. I think you did. Congratulations, Alice. Woo! Gluten free pomegranate cupcakes beat the gluten free pomegranate tray bake. If you actually want to follow this recipe and create some beautiful cupcakes or a tray bake, as, as I have done and is preferably the better method, then we'll, we'll put a link to the recipe in the bio. In the bio or in the video? Description. Well, in the... <laughs> Wherever. Uh, I'm just telling you to. Somewhere. We'll put it somewhere. Um, so, until next time, see you later. <laughs>